Blog Talk Radio. Rockers and Recovery Media is dedicated to carrying the message of addiction recovery through music, news, events, and festivals taking place within and not limited to the clean and sober community. Hey, hey, good morning. John Hollis with Waking Up Blessed. I want to welcome everybody to the show. Of course, a beautiful Wednesday morning here in Tallahassee. We want to just uh, give you a little bit of information on Waking Up Blessed. You can check out, uh, of course, Waking Up Blessed at Rockers and Recovery. And Rockers and Recovery Radio at rockersandrecovery.com. We also want to thank our sponsor for today's show, which is Sober Map. You can check out their app, which is downloaded to, of course, your iPhone or your Android, and you can find local meetings in your area, just like if you were looking at Yelp. I uh, also want to take this time to you know, let you know what Waking Up Blessed is all about. It's about starting our day with inspirational stories of experience, strength, and hope. And uh, we got a good one today. You know, I <clears throat> I tool around on on Facebook and all the social media platforms, and I have been for many many years. And I had a breath of fresh air hit me in the face um, about a month ago, and uh, my kid actually turned me onto a Chris. He uh, said, "Dad, you got to watch this." And uh, juggling the Jenkins uh, is the uh, uh, organization that you want to check out, you can actually check out Tiffany Jenkins and what she does with her organization. And it's called, of course, uh, Juggling the Jenkins Blog. At, well, it's on Facebook. You can check that out at Juggling the Blog. Uh, juggling the Jenkins Blog on Facebook. And, and amazing. You can also go to her website, which is Juggling the jo- JugglingTheJenkins.com uh, and check them out there. Uh, amazing people doing amazing stuff. And one of the things that caught my eye more so than anything was that, you know, she has, you know, huge, huge uh, Facebook uh, following, you know, 1.9 or uh, million Facebook followers. But the other thing that was incredible to me was the fact that she speaks openly and honestly about her past and addiction. She also uh, talks about her struggles with depression and anxiety, and you know something I, I I go through it myself. So I identified with her immediately. Um, the first video I seen, which was a really really great thing, was her answering five questions uh, for uh, addiction issues and things that people had asked her. Five top questions they had asked her, and she answered it eloquently and most importantly honestly and open and just, you know, uh, shamelessly. It was just an amazing thing. So if you get a chance, please go to uh, judgingthejenkins.com, find out more information. And this morning we're going to bring uh, Tiffany on. She's also an author. We're going to talk about her book. Tiffany, welcome to the show. Thanks for being on Waking Up Blast with Rockers in Recovery. Hi. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> we are, too. You know something – I love your videos. You know, not too many things excite me anymore on social media. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, so so when I when I actually started to watch it, my son Chris was so excited to have you on and you know ask you to be a part of the show and and you know you're like his first uh, first person he got to say yes to come on to the show. So and he's really you know, he's two years sober. He's coming up on two years sober, so he's really excited about it. But one of the cool things was is that you're so open and you're so honest about your recovery and about what got you there. I was watching you last night on your live stream and talking about postpartum depression started all of this. Is that correct? Yes, it did. Um, when I experienced postpartum depression, I didn't know where to turn because everywhere I looked, <clears throat> everybody looks perfect. And so I was like, I must be failing. Like, I, I, it was hard for me to relate to anybody out there. And so I decided to start writing about what I was going through and what I was feeling. And I was terrified to hit publish, but I did it. And I was amazed at the amount of people that gravitated towards me, thanking me for being honest. And it made me realize I'm not alone. Mm-hmm. You, do you find that the questions you now receive, because you do get a lot of questions, it can be overwhelming. I was watching last night, man, and they were just rolling in one after another mm-hmm. after another. 
Do you find that overwhelming at times, trying to, you know, answer some questions, but also, you know, being an author, um, you know, you, you, you tend to want to articulate on, on different things. Um, so how is that to keep up with that mass crowd that's asking you questions? What's that like for you? Um, it is. It can be really overwhelming because, I, you know, a lot of people look to my page for inspiration and hope. Mm-hmm. So when they have the opportunity to potentially communicate with me on a live, everybody, you know, tries to get a question in. And it, it I wish I could answer everybody's. Like, I'm a people pleaser. So mm-hmm. I try my best. Um, but, I, you know, I only have two eyes and one mouth and two hands, and there's only so much I can do. So I have to remind myself that I'm just one person and I can't be everywhere at once. If I do stretch myself too thin, um, you know, I'll tear apart. So I have to, I have to make sure self-care is an, a, a crucial part of my routine, my daily routine. Absolutely. That being said, you're on Waking Up Blessed. What does Waking Up Blessed mean to you? Ah, gotcha. For me, just waking up is a blessing. I'm sure everybody says that, but there there was a point where in the mornings my first thought was, I want to die, because the <laughs> reality of the life that I had created hit me all at once, first thing in the morning. Mm. And mm. so now um, I wake up, you know, generally to kids jumping on me, and I at first I'm annoyed, like it's still dark out, get back in your room. But then I realize, like, hey, what a blessing. You know what I mean? I, it's, I have to switch my attitude to gratitude. And so each day I wake up, I'm grateful. Mm. You know, it's funny because, I, you know, I used to think the same thing. You know, I would wake up and I would be like, okay, what's this chicken doing in bed with me? What's this donkey doing? <laughs> 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 well, how did, how did he get here? <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's the it best when they're insane. standing over you in the pitch black and you don't know they're there and you wake up and it's like a scary movie that happens every yeah. single day <laughs> oh. so you know bringing that forward and 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 what do you do what or how do you start your day i'm sure you know you have kids and you have to go through that whole process young kids right so you have to go through that whole process but how do you mm-hmm. start your day and get plugged in um, I probably don't do it correctly, to be honest with you. I'm a procrastinator, so I sleep until I have just enough time to rush everybody out the door. And so the mornings for me are usually chaotic. I've never been a morning person. I have trouble sleeping at night. Um, I don't know what's happening, but I'm programmed. Just So when I drop the kids off and I come home, then there's quiet. And I can drink my coffee, <clears throat> meditate work, do whatever I need to do to focus. Um, Excuse me. With my job, what I do for a living, it's literally surrounding myself with people who are in recovery, people who are still struggling, you know, people who are looking for hope. So each morning I get to wake up and do something that I love and it, it's a dream come true. And so just working is a joy to me. That's very cool. Um, Do you find that, uh, that taxes you too, because listen, you know something when you when you're answering the call of an active addict, <laughs> that can take a lot of energy out of you. Um, how do you oh, yeah. how do you deal with those things through the day? How do you plug back in? Because you know, listen, once the energy sucker sucked the energy out of you, you have oh, to yeah. do something. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. It it's really overwhelming, and I'm getting better at it. Like, at first, I wanted to save everybody, and I wanted to give everybody mm. the gift that I have. And so every single person that reached out to me, I was like, it is my job to help them, because what if I'm their only hope? And, you know, as time has gone on, and I've seen what it does to my mental state, trying to take care of everybody else, um, I leave myself with nothing, you know, and my family with nothing. So now, mm. you know, I'm working on boundaries. Um, I can't respond to all the emails. I'm getting anywhere from 30 to 70 emails per day, and a lot of the subject mm-hmm. lines are, please help me, you're my last hope. And so I have, I've started doing online therapy for myself um, mm-hmm. because I need to refill my cup somehow. And, I, you know, I'm, I, for a long time I was just giving, and I'm like, why am I feeling crazy? Why am I feeling so lost? And it's yeah. because I had nothing left. Um, meditation has been huge for me as well. Meditation and therapy. Um, are making it possible for me to continue going, as in addition to the love 
and support I get from everybody. I'm I'm overwhelmed with the amount of love I receive every day. It is amazing. You know, it's, um, you know, talking about that because I went through something similar. And when I first started Rockers and Recovery, the radio show back in 2008, it was all well and good until about 2010, 2011. And we started to have major crisis in our immediate families, me and Lori. You know, between mm. the two of us in a 14-month time period, we had 11 deaths of family members. <gasps> that was just one after another, man. Bam, bam. We, wow. Hey, listen, it was just like keep the suit out. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> because the next one's coming in. So it was insane. And then you couple that with all of the activities that Rockers and Recovery was doing and the radio mm. show and the people, like you said, I mean – it got to the point for me where I had like close to 5,000 people on my personal uh, profile. And, wow. you know, it was all mixed with the whole Rockers and Recovery, uh, you know, Facebook page. And the INs and emails that I was getting was just totally nuts. Couldn't deal with it. Just could right. not deal with it. So, right. I, you know, I, I had to, for myself and Lori, um, for herself, she opened up a new profile page because her first one, you know, is just inundated. And right. we do the best we can to answer stuff. But the amazing part of this whole thing is is that self-care is huge. Because mm-hmm. if we're not taking care of ourselves, we can't help nobody else. Exactly. So yeah. you feel – go ahead. I want, I want to hear your process on self-care. What do you do? How do you do that? So I, I – I, I'm really great at self-care. Like, that's something that I'm really good at. I, when I need five minutes, I demand five minutes. You know, I don't ask, like, hey, babe, do you think you can watch the kids for a minute while I, I, I'm like, hey, I need five minutes, I'll be right back. Like, and then I run because I know myself. And taking that five Mm -hmm. minutes, I will return, you know, a better mom, a better wife, a better person. I just need moments to decompress. So I demand those moments. Meditation for me is a really great way to shut my brain off. My brain is constantly going and going and going and going. And I need to shut it off sometimes. And I have found that the only way to do that is through guided meditation on YouTube, where somebody takes you through it and is like, okay, you're walking through a forest. You know what I mean? And I visualize that. And it allows my brain to recharge. I stay connected with people in recovery as well. Um, you know, when I need help, when I can't figure out a situation or I don't know how to feel, I reach out to people in recovery. The people um, I've met since I've gotten clean have saved me too many times to count. Um, and bubble baths. I'll just throw that in there. Bubble baths are my new it. thing. <laughs> Lighting candles and just chilling. You know what I mean? So, And I do that most of that when the kids go to sleep. You know? Very <laughs> well, I don't know about that kind of bath. That's a different kind of bath. But, um, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Hey, listen, I'm I'm really really glad that you came on. You're a great lady. Um, you wow. also, and this is kind of a cool cool part of what you're doing too, is that you you had such an overwhelming uh, response to uh, your followers with your message that I guess you're now uh, uh, having people submit their stories of recovery from around the world to you. Is that, is that working? Yes. Yeah. It it's so about. cool. People were really inspired by my story, and they said, you know, you're the only person we've seen talking about this openly and honestly because, um, you know, certain programs have traditions. And so mm-hmm. – uh, there is a fine line. So I try very careful. You know, I don't talk about specific programs. I try not to recommend, right. you know, anything specific. I leave it really broad in general because I do respect the traditions. So, you know, I think mm-hmm. a lot of people, because of the stigma, don't come forward and share their truth because there's so much judgment and so much hatred. So since um, everybody was so inspired by me, I decided to see if I could find anybody else who would be willing to come forward um, and mm-hmm. I, I've gotten tons of submissions, and it's my favorite thing because each week somebody's story applies to somebody out there, and it's just the message that they need to hear. Um, and I'm so honored, you know, that these people trust me to share their story with me, not only me but my audience as well. Um, it's incredible. It's like a dose of hope each week. Gotta love it. 
you know, yeah. hope is a is a remarkable thing when you when you do it outside of the box thinking. You know what I mean? So, right. so you're absolutely right. I mean, hey, listen, you know, when I first started the Rockers and Recovery Radio Show, I used to get hate mail from the uh, the twelve step Nazis, and I would yeah. never, never actually mention, you know, what organization I belong to or anything like that. And right. and I was told early on uh, when we when we made the decision to do it, we called the general services of all the twelve step organizations, and they all said the same thing: as long as you're not on there saying that our twelve step organization is endorsing you or paying you or you're a right. part of it, um, you're you know, you're like a Dr. Phil. Go have at it. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I'm a Dr. Phil, but <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying. Right. Yeah. But, no, you know, I know the, exactly the, what you're saying. The process. The process of getting uh, somebody to submit their information to you. How do they do that? Um, so they, I have guidelines on my website um, for what I'm looking for. Um, you know, I don't just want war stories. I want to know what happened, um, what mm. was life like before, what made you want to change, and what are some blessings that have happened now. Um, nice. Because I think that's the most important part. It's Seeing that somebody was where you are and has made it out and is living a dream life is inspiring. And so if they could submit their stories to um, recoveringbeautifully at yahoo.com after checking out the guidelines. But uh, it's not just, sorry, I just want to mention this, too, is that it's not just for um, drug addiction. It's, I, I'm yeah. opening it up to, like, any kind of addiction, whether it be food, sex, gambling, um you know, um, anxiety, depression, as long as the story has like a clear, this is where I was, this is how different things are. Um, I'm open to it. Overcoming adversity is kind of become the mission stories. You know, through you bringing awareness to mental illness, because listen, I don't care what you say, you know, how you look at it. Addiction is a huge part of mental illness. So by mm -hmm. shedding the spotlight on mental illness, you get to cover all of those issues. So mm -hmm. I think what you're doing is huge. Kudos to you mm -hmm. um, and the people that you're helping daily. I mean, daily. I see it. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing thing. And you're doing it in a way that is humorous. Listen, I see some stuff that, like, man, I watch, like, for four minutes or maybe even if I get through 30 seconds, i got to go. Right. Your stuff captivated me. You were humorous about it. Oh. You you look at yourself and you're humorous about yourself. Hey, listen, there is nothing like being humorous about me or about, you know what I mean? Right. Being able to put that information out there and have some fun about it and humor about it. Yes, it's serious stuff. But at the same time, if you continue to think, well, I have to be completely, oh, I can't laugh about this and I can't joke about exactly. it. Exactly. I did some crazy shit when I was out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> <clears throat> So, so you know, not to laugh about it now, if, if I took all of the, you know, thousands of things that I did in, you know, 40 years of active addiction and didn't laugh about some of them, <laughs> right. man, you wouldn't be talking right now. I'd be out of my mind, you know? Right. It, exactly. <clears throat> and that's, that's it. it um, <laughs> humor ha has been a huge part of getting me through all of this. And I think that when you're, you know, trying to share a message – if you, if it's all doom and gloom, people are going to tune out and it's going to bum them out. But if you do it in a silly way, they tend to listen. And the people who wouldn't have otherwise listened, the people who can't relate to anxiety and depression and addiction will listen to the message um, and maybe gain some insight. And that's been one of the greatest things is people coming to me and saying, I used to hate addicts. I used to you know, have a lot of resentment towards addiction, but your – videos and your book have opened my eyes to to be to soften my heart a bit and that's the biggest um compliment i can receive i i love the title of your book high achiever yeah the, see the shocking <laughs> true story of one addict's double life tell us about the book so dramatic that title um yeah. the I, <laughs> I wrote the book um, because I had started releasing a chapter a week on my blog, and people were, you know, freaking out like it was a soap opera. They couldn't wait till the next week because I always left it with a cliffhanger, and I was amazed at the response. So many people suggested I write a book, so I took all the blogs down. 
I spent weeks Googling, you know, how to write a book, how to format a book, how to publish a book. And um, I I tried to reach out to a few agents. Nobody really wanted anything to do with it. Um, And so I just decided to do it myself. And so I did. I formatted it with what I learned off of Google. And um, I self-published. And, you know, I am just amazed at the amount of books that have sold and the people that it's resonated with. It's being shipped to rehabs and jails and it's a dream come true, really. And the Internet is an endless supply of knowledge and information. You could learn how to do literally anything on the Internet. So, um, so I just taught myself, and it's been great. Juggling the Jenkins.com. You want to check this site out. You can also go there and uh, check out the book. You can watch some videos. And also on Facebook, Juggling the Jenkins Blog, which is uh, on Facebook, just to put it into your search engine, Juggling the Jenkins Blog, and it'll come right up. It's an amazing, amazing uh, feat that she does and how she does it with the energy that she does it with. I seen one that was great. You woke up, I think it was like, and it was a great message you gave out, but uh, I'll end with this. You had woken up in in the middle of the night, and you know you were talking about um, a rock and roll uh, person that had uh, succumbed to relapse, and oh. you know you were like, yeah, I, it was it was pretty cool to be able to hear you say, I don't really think she really gives a shit what you think. <laughs> 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 Thank you. It felt good to say it, honestly. <laughs> and that's there what I'm talking about. I mean, that's pe- being real. You know what I mean? That's being real. It's putting it out there, being real, but being humorous about it, too, and letting people know that, hey, listen, you know something? Addicts and, 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 and people with mental health issues are human beings first. Mm-hmm. And you mm-hmm. may want to just check your motives and why you know you have issues with them, because I think there's something wrong with you. That's just yeah, my let's personal opinion. check out your life. Let's follow you around for a day and see what's going on yeah. over there. There is yeah, um, yeah. a lot of hatred behind keyboards, but there, you know, mm-hmm. I have also found that there's an overwhelming amount of love. Also, I've got a bunch of my supporters listening now, and without them, I, I would not be able to find the strength to keep going each day. It's um, it's amazing the amount of love that is out in the world towards addiction you know there are there's negativity but there's also so much support absolutely i want to thank you for being on tiffany you rock uh, i look forward Aww. to seeing great things you know coming out of your camp and and all the people that you're helping and in closing if you had to sum up what a day uh is for you at the end of the day do you do you go, you know, hit your knees? Do you sleep? Or you know, what, what do you do to end all the insanity? What's the, you know, of the day? Because my days are pretty crazy. Um, I paint. I have an art studio at my house, and I I do fluid painting, and I paint pictures <laughs> like a five year old. Wow. But uh, just focusing on the lines and the paint has really allowed me to relax and take a break. It's very therapeutic for me, and I I've been doing it literally every single night. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. that's beautiful. Yeah, I think you just got to find what works for you, and it it takes time to find it. But once you do. Um, it's really important to have something that calms you at the end of the day. You rock. Thank you for being no, on you up No, you do. No, you do. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. All right, man. We'll talk soon. I look forward to having you back in the future. I know you got, you, you're going to be announcing some. I'll, I'll leave them with a cliffhanger. She's oh, yeah, that's right. Stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> She's got some stuff coming up. You I'm might excited. just see her in your area. That's right. That's right. But we won't tell you anymore. We're going to leave you there. Yeah, no spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. You, bye. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of Waking Up Blessed this morning. This is a, you know, a great show. Um, and Tiffany's a great lady. And check her out, please, you know. If you want to be inspired, this is the lady that's inspiring. There's lots of people out there that are trying to inspire, and you know they make it all about uh, insanity and drama. 
And this is drama free. Please check her out. You can check out Juggling the Jenkins. And you can check that out at Juggling the Jenkins blog on Facebook and jugglingthejenkins.com. And Tiffany is an author. Check out her book. She's got great stuff all about uh, helping others and doing it with some with some fun and and you know, glad to have her on and it was a blessing to have her on this morning. I want to thank everybody for tuning in to Waking Up Blessed Monday through Friday right here at 9 a.m. at rockersandrecovery.com. You can also check us out at Facebook, Rockers and Recovery. And also, please, click the Sign Up tab, join our uh, Waking Up Blessed newsletter that goes out once a week. It is a weekly newsletter with updates for the following guests for next week, plus all kinds of information. Like one of the stories in there this week, pretty cool, was they found the um, Aerosmith original tour van. Check that out. There's also some great uh, uh, information in there for help and other stuff, so... Waking Up Blessed newsletter, you can click right at sign up on Facebook at Rockers and Recovery. Thank everybody for tuning in today. Thank you to SoberMap, SoberMap.com, and the SoberMap app for sponsoring the show. Rockers and Recovery Radio is based on opinion only and is not meant to treat or diagnose any health or mental health issue of any kind. If you feel you need help for any health-related issues, please contact a physician or mental health professional. The opinions expressed by our guests are not necessarily those of Rockers and Recovery. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.